Today let's create a particle blasting animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a particle blast animation in After Effects using Trap Code Particular. It's super simple, very very easy and a very useful effect that you can use for creating a title animation or trailer titles for your short films or movies or many other stuff like that. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition and call this maybe Particles. 1920 by 1080 30 fps and 10 seconds let's make this 10 seconds and hit ok let's create a new solid so hit ctrl y to create a new solid and i'm going to call this particles and hit ok then i can go ahead and add the trap code particular effect on that oh particular and by the way i'm using the free after effects script from video copilot the fx console if you are wondering how i'm popping up this icon cause many of you guys had questions of what is this pop-up menu that comes in if you don't have it you can just go into you know effects and trap code particular where is it i'm using the fx console so much that i've started to forget where the heck the plugins are so yeah there we go rg trap code particular there you should find it in case if you don't have the fx console but i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and download it it's free and it it's gonna increase your workflow so yeah so now we have a very simple basic particle stimulation so to make it look interesting first of all i'm gonna add some keyframes so let's go at the very beginning go into the emitter and set the particles per second to zero and create a keyframe. Hit U so we can see just the keyframe. Go one frame forward and let's create a keyframe at zero. Then I'm gonna hit page down to go one frame forward and increase the particles per second count to one lakh or 100,000 you can say. Then go one frame forward and let's bring this down to around maybe 7,000. Go one frame forward and let's set this to zero. All right, so we basically have something like that, which looks pretty weird right now. And then let's go to two frames, bring up the velocity to 1500. Create a keyframe, go back in time. Let's set this to around 130. Hit U so we can see just the keyframes and it makes things a bit more easier. Then I can go to 1 second and 10 frames maybe and bring down the velocity to 300. Alright. So now you can see we have kind of a blasting particle effect. Let's bring up the velocity randomness to 30. And for the velocity distribution, I'm going to set this to 5. For the velocity for motion, I'll set this to around 25. Okay, so this is looking much better. I think that's all we need to tweak into the emitter settings. Let's go into particle. Bring down the life per second to 2. For the particle feather, I'm going to set this to around 70. For the particle size, let's set this to 3. Size randomness all the way up to 100. Maybe I'll go to size over life. And for this one, I'm going to try to create a preset of my own, which should look something like this maybe maybe a bit smaller so like that and then you can click on smooth to smooth it out so now you can see our particles start in very small and then fades out very small maybe something like that okay Pretty good. Let's go into the opacity randomness and bring this up all the way up to 100. Opacity over life. And for this one, I'm going to create kind of a mountain preset. So something like that. And 
and then you can click on smooth to smooth it out there we go now the particles are pretty um, small and kind of hard to see so what i'm going to do is go into rendering go into motion blur set this to on and for the shutter face type i'm going to set this to soft frame sample to around 20 and the opacity boost of 10 so we can see the particles more properly as you can see now they look a bit more better all right so really quick i'm going to go ahead and change the color of the particles so we can see it more properly i'm going to make them a nice orange color and then pretty quick i'm going to add a glow to this bring down the threshold to around eight percent maybe and the radius to let's go with maybe something like 50 or maybe let's actually set this to 10 and maybe bring down the threshold even a bit more okay set the glow colors to a b colors and then i can select the colors that i want so i'm gonna set this to a nice yellow and for this one a very dark orange so it looks kind of a spark as you can see now we are able to see the particles more properly okay pretty nice and yeah everything else looks good maybe i'll go into the emitter and bring down the velocity randomness to around 25 and this one to 30. okay everything else looks good to me now let's jump into the physics section which is our main and important section to make the complete blast or shock wave look a bit more organic so first of all let's set the gravity to minus 100 and for the physics time factor what i'm going to do is let's go to two frames set this to two create a keyframe go at the very beginning and set this to one then go to three frame and set this to one so now we have much more particles as you can see and it looks much more like a blast so yeah that is looking very cool let's actually select the particles hit u so we can see just the keyframes okay everything is looking good now let's go into the air section and set the air resistance to around 1.5 turn on the air resistant rotation so we have something like that i think the color is not what i'm going for so i can go into the glow again and maybe increase the threshold as well so let's actually set this 15 and yeah that is much better okay so this is looking much better let's go into the fade in spin and i'm going to set this to three for the turbulence field let's set the effect size to two and effect position to around 200 you can always play around with this settings i think 200 is a bit too much maybe 130 to get the desired look you can see now it's look started to look a bit more organic set the fade in time seconds to one for scale i'm going to set this to five and everything else looks good maybe i'll bring down the evolution speed to around 35 yep that is pretty good maybe move the win with 50 percent and yeah, i need to fix the starting point because it's not the way i wanted it, i wanted it to look all right so now it's it's not looking that great i think so i'm gonna first of all bring down the glow to around 10 threshold and for the radius i'm gonna set this to 5. 
let's make this kind of a yellow color that is looking much better and i'm going to go into the particle section and maybe i'll increase the life randomness and that should make the thing look a bit more better yep that is looking much better so yeah i think that is that is looking pretty good yep and this is what i'm going for now it's not looking that great at the moment but we're gonna make that look really great all right so i'm gonna select the glow go to edit duplicate so now we have two glow and this is gonna be so something like that maybe a bit more and bring this down a bit so as you can see this is looking very nice let's create a new camera real quick set the preset to 35 millimeters set the preset to 35 millimeters hit aa two times and turn on the depth of field maybe i'll set the focus distance to around 1400 and for the aperture i'm gonna keep it really high maybe something like 500 so we get a really nice bokeh effect you can see it looks very nice and it gives that really nice depth to the complete scene i think maybe i'll play around with the focus distance a bit to get the desired look i think something like that and i need to play around a bit with the glow so i can increase this just like so so we have our shock wave but at the moment it is just too perfect we need some randomness and we need to make it look a bit, bit more you know uh, realistic or organic you can say so to do that what we can do is duplicate the particles so hit control d to duplicate it let's hide the main layer and this is the secondary layer that we have go into the physics section and we can play around with the turbulence of the turbulence field the effect position so i can increase this really crazy something like that and increase the effect position also what i can do is i can go into the particles and bring down the size so maybe something like 1.5 so something like that and i'm gonna hit u go to two frame and bring down the particles per second count to twenty thousand. because this is going to be our secondary particles i want them to be very very minimal this is looking pretty good we need to play around a bit more with the effect size i think something like that so this is going to be our secondary particles let's turn this on and i'm going to displace this by maybe five frames and let's see what we have Let's actually pretty quickly preview this. Yep, so now you can see we have our main particles and then we have this nice secondary particles, which looks pretty nice. And it makes it look more, you know, more interesting. For the camera, I'm gonna hit AA and increase the aperture to around 700. Get a bit more natural particles as you can see. And also I'm gonna do a pretty quick curves adjustment as well. So let's select this actually, solo this up. and let's close this add a curves adjustment maybe i'll pump up the red channels a bit and bring down the blue channel just a touch Control c and paste it on the second particles as well there we go looking pretty good maybe the glow is a bit too intense i think on the first one Yep, that is a bit too intense. I'm going to increase this to around maybe 30. And we can play around with the radius. So a bit. Yep, this is looking much better as you can see. And there we have a nice particle blast shockwave animation. Now to make it look a bit more interesting, what I can do is I can hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this flare. And I'm going to use the inbuilt flare from After Effects. 
also set the blending mode of the layer to add and for the lens type i'm going to go with a 150 mm prime lens set this into the center just like that let's add a tint to make it kind of black and white and add a fast blur and make it really something like that kind of a glow and finally i'm gonna add some curves let's go into the reds increase those reds nice bring down those blues and for the green i can just play around a bit just like that and i can go maybe somewhere around there create a keyframe on the flare brightness so create a keyframe hit u so we can see it go back to somewhere around there and let's set this to zero so basically we have just like so and set this to zero so we have kind of a glow while the particles get burst up as you can see and it makes the complete thing look even more interesting i can select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes and yeah i think this is looking much better and i hope this will be helpful so basically this is how you can create some nice looking particles blasting shockwave effect you can say and you can use this effect in many different scenarios like maybe some action movie titles and by the way i have created a complete tutorial on creating cinematic title animation in after effects so you can use those titles with the shockwaves you can use it for your title design your movies your short films and many other different stuff so that is a wrap for today guys i hope this tutorial was helpful also if you guys are interested in my personal life kind of a behind the scenes of dope motions then make sure to check out my vlogging channel which is life looks like i'll mention the link down in the description so you can go ahead and check it out and yeah i'll see you in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative